morning. Um, as you can see, it's far too early to be up, but uh, we have to be up for Eurogamer, of course, catching the coach down to Victoria Station, and then um, I'm probably going to Uber it from there because it actually, well, I've got, I've got some uh, credit, but it's actually going to be probably cheaper than taking the tube. Um, I'm going down with my friend Adam, uh, who you saw from EGX Res, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to be going down for the weekend uh, to enjoy some games and meet some awesome people. So uh, let's get this rather awful start over with. It's way too early <laughs> walking down at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean the streets are dead, there's stuff on... What the hell is even that? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to know. You're right, Adam, you didn't go to sleep. There's no point. I yeah, I, I, I did the wrong thing, I went to sleep, and then woke, I just couldn't get to sleep and then just kept waking up. Because um, one of the big sort of events, nightclub events, and I heard people coming back drunk, that was one of the things that woke me up, because my window was open. So, uh, so yeah, that was fun. Um, it's going to be a long day, that's what I'm going to say, it's going to be a really long day. I mean, we're going to be up. We'll be up for 12 hours before the event's even finished, so... Well, you'd have been up for longer than that before the event's finished. True. So... Anyway, enough doom and gloom. Let's, let's continue. Right, uh, near Victoria, just been to Starbucks, needed coffee, badly. Um, hopefully the caffeine will keep me going. We've also um, got a taxi ordered, uh, Uber ordered. Um, Ridvan is on his way, there he is, over there somewhere. Oh, he's driving, he's going down the road, he's live. Look at him. What a legend. What a legend. Yeah, what a legend. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head over straight to the exhibition centre. We got here a lot earlier than we well than we were told we would. So uh, can't particularly complain though. But with the British, we'll complain about being early and about being late because that's what we do best. So uh, so yeah, we'll get the cab over. It'll be about 20 minutes, and then we can start the queuing of the day, the first queue. I am so tired. This is just part of me on the coach trip. I was like, should, should we have just like missed today and just gone up and just chilled out and then gone tomorrow? But we're here now. We're doing it. How are you, how are you feeling? I'm tired. I was fine earlier, but now it's hitting, hitting me. You. It's really hitting me. We'll battle through it though, we'll be alright. The excitement is taking over. Good. I'll be fine. Good. Good. Well, we'll keep updating with how you feel throughout the day. We can oh. slowly see the decline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be crawling out of the exhibition centre by the end. Yeah, luckily I haven't got too far to go. Seeing the things that we can get in the queue for first. Thanks, Dave. Adam, update, how you doing? I'm good. You I'm good? Excited. Still tired? Mm, not so much. Now that we're inside. Alright, so you're not a Call of Duty player? Not usually. We'll see what you think. It's I'll gonna be it interesting. A, I'll give it a go. Yeah, 
noise that is uh, the guys talking down there. Then I'm looking over the PlayStation booth now. And uh, it is just for us a bit of comment how Titanfall was already out, but yeah, people are still queuing to play it. And yeah, it's the same thing with Destiny. I mean, Destiny's out. Guys, guys, stop queuing. You can go buy the game. It's short to queue. Buy the game now. It's much, much quicker. There we are. That's my tip of the show for you. Uh, don't keep the Destiny. Buy it. Just, just buy it. It's a good game. I mean, you're getting a good game and skipping the keys at the same time. And you can play when you get home for as many hours as you like. There we are. Tip of the day for you. So I'm sitting here in the press area. I am so tired right now. It's unbelievable. Uh, I've been up 12 hours now and it's, what is it? It's, um, it's four can't see, here we are, 4.24. Uh, it feels like so much longer. My phone battery's dying, so I'm charging it using uh, my charger pack, which I got, which is a lifesaver. Thank you, YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to get back up again. I mean, it's because I'm carrying stuff, because um, I haven't been able to check them to my room yet, which I'm going to do tonight after Eurogamer. Um, but I'm just feeling so tired. I, I hate carrying it, and it's... Uh, it's been a long day, uh, but I played some cool games. Uh, Battlefield Hardline, Call of Duty. Um, looked at some other games. Looked at Insight into the Division. A bit of uh, Assassin's Creed stuff. So it's a pretty cool thing so far. I mean, not done a mega amount. It's been I've seen quite a bit already at E3. So I'm avoiding some other things as well uh, that I'd already played. Um, because there's no point queuing and playing the same things. A lot of the demos are very, very similar, if not the same. So there's not a lot of point there. But there we are. Um, I don't know if I'll make another video for like today. I know this is sort of like a mashup of all the days together, as I knew I wouldn't be recording enough in a day to justify some vlog. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe this is end of day one. Uh, quite possibly, I don't know. Depends on whether I want to record anything else. Anyway. Day two, if you can hear me, it's so loud! Cars won't shut up, I did try, but uh, fortunately it wouldn't be quiet, so we're gonna have to just do it anyway. Um, went to stop at this lovely little uh, cafe place uh, on the side. We were gonna head to like Greg's or somewhere, because we knew where the Greg's were. But then we saw that place and we're like, oh, okay. That's the, that's the high pitch noise I made. Uh, let's not get run over. I went, oh, let's have a look. And, uh, very nice guy, and uh, got ourselves some coffee. Yes, coffee. I need coffee on this on this weekend. I'm too tired, I'm too worn out and stressed. I need the extra caffeine boost. Tea ain't gonna cut it right now. Tea in the evening, lovely. I had tea last night, it was all right. Hotel tea, but it was all right. I give the tea rating a, a six out of 10. I give it a six out of 10. The coffee this morning's pretty good. I was expecting it, to, as we were just, just talking, I was expecting it to be god awful because you put like, you see what seemed like a third of it was milk. But uh, luckily the coffee was strong enough and it actually is pretty good. It was surprises. So there we are, surprise of the day so far. I'll update you if something more surprising comes along. But uh, yeah, got a bacon, a bacon sandwich as well because that should get us off to a good start. Adam, how are you feeling? A lot better than last night. A lot better than last night. You slept, so it's a bonus. Yeah. Um, the hotel's all right, isn't it? It's actually pretty good. All right. It's small, very small, but I mean that's London for you. Yeah. That's London, and it's it's nice. You know, it's quite modern. Internet's pretty slow, but it's all right. We may do have Domino's last night, uh, which was enjoyable. Um, there we are. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill out for a bit for the madness of EGX starts. We're walking over there right now. So uh so yeah. I'll speak to you guys later. Day day two for us. Day three of the event. Um I don't know what I'm gonna end up playing today, I really don't know. Because the queues are just gonna be far too big. Adam evolve, I think, for you. That is on if my you list. Can. If you can. If you can. Um I'm going to go to the Call of Duty um, talk at 12, but that's the only thing I've really got planned. I'm going to see how things go. Now, I didn't particularly want to talk about games in this sort of thing, which I know is a bit silly, but I didn't want the vlogs to be about particular games, because being so busy, I would probably forget about certain things and not talk about them. But um, I did just want to quickly talk about um, a game that I uh, went straight to from the queue and waited to see, and uh, I saw some live gameplay. 
day of uh, Quantum Break. And that game is incredible. I mean, I felt it a bit meh about it from E3. And uh, I, I wasn't sort of on my hit list, but I thought I'll go and see it. It's a game I don't know too much about. And you know, it could be this big, the big system seller for, for Xbox One, because they haven't got this exclusive game that's, that's really sort of pushing the console right now. And uh, I think Quantum Break is just incredible, really. Um, the coding behind it, and like, like from a technical point of view, it is incredible work. Like, it, it must have taken them a long time to put it together. It's the way the time shift works and stuff. Um, I'll try and make a video specifically talking about it because it really does deserve that. And I'll go into detail about what I saw and uh, what happened and things like that. But I just thought it was really worth talking about. I'm on, I'm on top of the balcony sort of area right now, the upstairs, just looking down above everything. Uh, my friend Adam's down there, Cooper Evolve somewhere. Uh, but uh, I just thought it was worth talking about because honestly, so far, it's the game that surprisingly grabbed my attention and shot me in. Really, really surprising. So a nice surprise there. Wasn't expecting it. And so far, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll update this with a little annotation uh, if it changes, if I remember to do so. But so far, my game of uh, EGX for sure goes quantum break. So good job, guys. I thought I'd spotted him. There he is. There's Adam. Queuing for For a while, bless him. Still queuing. I'm on about full zoom in order to get him. Uh, he's probably going to kill me later after this, but uh, there you are. There he is. Having having the EGX queuing experience. I mean, you know, he's enjoying. He's really enjoying queuing simulator 2014. I mean, that truly is the game of the show, isn't it? It truly is. Queuing simulator 2014. Uh, the most played game for sure. stop tour video which you guys may have seen or may see in the future. You may have seen it, I don't know, I can't remember when it's going to go out or whatever. Whenever I edit it and I put it up basically. Uh, I'm just dying slowly in a cafe, um, paying for expensive water. It's really, really over the top, but there we are. Uh, I had some lunch with the Rofer Raptor and uh, his friend, which I forget the name of. I'm sorry dude, if you are watching, I'm terrible with names, so uh, now you learn something about me. Um, and Adam, of course, he's, he's there. He's just always there. He's, just, he's, just, he's not. He's fine. Um, yeah, so um, Mike Kilk's about to be hard, like, because Adam hasn't played it yet. To be honest with you, I felt like I was. The game I played was a bit crap because the players I played against were really crap. So it, you know, it wasn't the best experience. So I might try that again. My voice is slowly loop, just going completely. And in that video, shot the last bit of the voice I had. I was trying to shout so loudly. Don't know how the audience is going to sound. It might sound great. But uh, there we are. I'll sign off this part of the vlog. And. Uh, Simple people, simple people met. Of course, I can't forget. Uh, I met uh, some fan of mine, Helen, who uh, gave me some stuff and a cake, and uh, really, really cool. Um, I will haven't eaten the cake yet, but I'll try to make it later. I'm sure it's great. And uh, we uh, signed some stuff in the Rock Raptor. So, uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty good to meet some people. Um, I met Moody Ana as well, uh, one of the uh, moderators on uh, Bitcraft. So, uh, cool to meet up with him. Still, a couple of people I haven't met yet, but uh, hopefully, we'll meet them over. Signing off is good at the vlog. So, uh, sort of a, a later vlog, not too late, it's the same day. However, I just played some uh, Battlefield Hardline, which I played yesterday, but I just sort of wasn't sure what to think of it. But I think the more I play it, I just played it again. Um, my team was crap this time, I don't know what the hell they were doing. Uh, always to be against bad uh, teams or playing with bad teams. And it's going out of focus. There we are. So, Battlefield Hardline. Let's go back. Um, honestly, the more I'm playing it, the more I'm actually starting to enjoy the game a bit more. I mean, although the team I'm playing with was really bad, I was starting to enjoy it a bit more. I could, I could understand Ignition as a game mode a bit more. I, to be honest with you, I didn't really get it. I didn't really get why it was fun to play, if it was fun to play. Uh, but the more I play it, the more I sort of see what it's all about. And uh, I think it's a game I might grow to like. But at first, I really wasn't sure about it. So there we are. I really like talking about games. This is one I decided to uh, mention in before.
past the final fourth day for everyone else, uh, Eurogamer-wise. Um, it's quiet, we're in the quiet zone, I'm enjoying the quietness, because literally, I don't know how much you guys can see, but it's pretty damn quiet right now. And uh, about half hour, probably less than that now, um, and the madness will come in at 11, everyone will come in, and this place will be full to the brim. Oh, I am so tired, to be honest with you. Even though I slept decently, I woke up with a headache and not feeling the best today. Adam's all right, he seems, he seems really good. He's, he's surviving this trip better than me and he's had less sleep overall than I have. But uh, there we are. Got myself some lovely porridge. We're gonna be filming, we're gonna... Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing the um, some of the uh, extra shots for uh, the... Um, oh for the whistle stop tour because um, it's really difficult for Adam to get all these sort of like proper booth shots and things like that. So we're gonna go up here now to the press lounge, I'm gonna get my equipment out and then we're gonna just do, I'm gonna run around quickly while it's quiet. As you can see, look, it's still pretty quiet. While it's quiet, get all the extra little shots we need and then throw them in to make the video look a bit better because uh, I think it needs it, so there we are. And uh, we'll do updates throughout the day. I'm gonna meet some guys, possibly, that uh, subscribe to my channel, so it'll be pretty cool. Met some people yesterday, really awesome people, so uh, that was really cool. And the weekend's been really good so far. It's just been really tiring. Met lots of people, though. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later. So we're here near the end of... I've chosen a really loud place to do this, but near the end of, uh, of EDX. I have done my uh, final video. Uh, did sort of like a highlight to my favorite thing, sort of thing. Yeah, guys. Probably. Oh,